Hello, I'm the director of the Center of Decision Choice and Analysis, and I would like to tell you a few words about our center. We are we deal with a wide spectrum of decision making problems. First of all, these are theoretical problems of multi and unicriterial decisions, game theoretic models, data analysis, social choice, even models in biology and medicine. And we apply all our, all our knowledge to some urgent problems which influence all people around, I mean, in, in a, on, the, on our planet, you see. Uh, indeed, we recently study and develop uh, models of decision making under deep uncertainty and apply them to food security problems, earthquakes and tornado prediction, to ecology problems such as oil spills in Arctic uh, uh, waters. Uh, one of the last works which were presented one of by our, one of our groups was efficiency of quarantine measures in pandemic situation of COVID-19. And we found very interesting uh, solutions for this very problem. Uh, they were published. Another set of our studies deals with the political analysis. We provide some new models of polarization in societies and study its impact on electoral processes. But not only these problems of polarization, we have many other uh, works in this field. Uh, we all recently very actively work on networks. We develop new concepts of centrality measure which take into account the parameters of vertices, influence of group of vertices on a single vertex, and also indirect influence on network <coughs> on networks. <coughs> And we apply these very new models, and uh, many of them were published already, to migration processes, to conflicts among to conflicts among countries, <clears throat> world finance connections, different types of international trade, bibliometrics. Uh, we have also very new and very uh, well deep models of multi-criterial decision making in social choice. We uh, provided new models of solution co concepts, analyze their stability. Another group of models deals with fuzzy sets and systems. Again, we extend existing models to this kind of things. Um, we have several new models and uh, some applied works in the analysis of education. And partly these very things which I'm talking about will be presented by next speakers our, uh, from our group, from our center. Another very important part of our studies are regional problems. The main goal of these models to increase the satisfaction of people living in the region under study. I talk when I spoke with governors of regions and also uh, we did it for some foreign cities. Uh, I told them that we don't know your Problems, you see, if we are living in Moscow. We cannot know your all your problems, but these problems you observe in different places of the region. 
there are different ways to solve these problems, different financing to solve these problems. And so we obtain such complex problem of applying resources to solve these problems in different places on different levels etc that uh, we, uh, you need a very advanced mathematical models to uh, solve these very problems so I welcome you for some scientific contacts and we will be very glad to work with the colleagues from different universities on this wide spectrum of problems. And these works might be uh, might be presented as scientific cooperation, joint seminars, lectures, etc. In all this. Uh, in all these fields. Or we can invite young colleagues, for instance, to our PhD and master programs to come here for short visits, for a few months, for instance, to learn different kind of uh, our models, our activities, etc. So welcome, and we are looking forward for efficient cooperation. Uh, hi, my name is Boris Mirkin. Uh, I work uh, as a researcher in, in this center. Uh, and uh, here, I, I want to tell you a, a few words about my research. So I always do data analysis. I started with the group choice, social choice, but my approach was different. It was about rather individual data summarization than uh, the, the behavioral aspects. Then I switched to clustering. And again, the, it, it is about data recovery from clustering rather than just looking in there. And currently, uh, I'm doing several uh, projects. One of them is consensus clustering. And the other is about uh, uh, community detection in networks with nodes attributed with features. Here are our publications with my PhD student, Sorus Shalele. And to me, the most important of them is modeling generalization in taxonomies. It's a kind of borders with uh, uh, with, with uh, uh, cognitive aspects and the applications include revealing tendencies uh, over hundreds and thousands of publications on the subject and also about uh, expanding audiences of internet advertisements. Thank you. My name is Ekaterina Shekhalieva, and I am a research assistant of the International Center of Analysis and Decision Making. I've been working as a research assistant for the past two years. During this time, I was in charge of a project about assessment of quality of higher education in Russia and uh, analysis of its heterogeneity. The analysis revealed such unusual trends in, mathemat in mathematical areas of study as uh, a quite uh, low uh, quality in economical um, specialities. And also, uh, as a part of that uh, study, we provided a new mathematical model for assessing admission to institutions. At the moment, I'm working on the development of a model for predicting the consequences of earthquakes in seismically active regions. Why do I like working in the center? Because uh, here you have a large number of interesting and non-standard tasks, and you can always find a topic that is uh, very close to you. And of course, you are always surrounded by bright, intelligent people who share your interest in science and will always help you when you need. Uh, at the same time, 
you always know that your work is valuable and uh, you can uh, perform your work uh, on the conference that are international and uh, you know that your work will benefit the society that uh, also motivates you to work further in the center. My name is Alexander Belenti. I am a leading research fellow at the center. Every scientific center in the field of technical and or economic studies pretends to be unique in the way it deals with practical problems. The International Center of Decision Choice and Analysis is unique in its strategy of determining the area of its studies, not by attempting to adjust them to any practical problem, but rather by proceeding from the needs determined by these problems. One direction of research at the center covers problems associated with making decisions under uncertainty. The center studies in these directions are particularly focused on identif identifying classes of mathematical models for which effective solution methods in large-scale systems can be developed. Finding an optimal structure of a transport node, finding an optimal distribution of agricultural areas for growing products, finding optimal portfolio composition for small and medium price-taking traders are examples of the large-scale systems in which such models and methods have been obtained. Both these results and their underlying ideas have been published in top international scientific journals, including International Journal of Public Administration, Energy System, etc. These results are offered at the Higher School of Economics for bachelor and master graduates in the framework of the courses at the Faculty of Computer Sciences and the Faculty of Social Sciences. As is known, um, a game theoretic approach is often used in modeling various conflict situations. So particular game models have been one of the subjects of studies at the center in the last 14 years. For two-person games, with the sets of feasible player strategies being convex polyhedral sets in finite dimensional spaces, and the payoff function being the sum of two linear and a bilinear function of the same vector arguments, the finite methods of finding Nash equilibrium points have been obtained. Besides the above-mentioned practical problems, these results were obtained for the problem of cleaning large cities by utilizing their municipal solid waste and for problem of optimally allocating charging stations for electric vehicles along highways. The latter one was published together with Princeton University. Another direction of research deals with education and the problem of choosing electives to study by a college or university student together with a set of core courses has been solved. A mathematical tool for comparing the set of electives that may look optimal to some students from the viewpoint of the college or university administration and the set of electives that may look optimal to a particular student himself or herself has been developed, namely a game theoretic model and a discrete optimization model proposed to formalize both problems allow one to solve this problem by standard software packages. Finally, an educational technology developing analytical thinking in college or university students while providing them with particular knowledge of the subject of their curricula has been proposed. A mathematical model helping college or university administrations estimate financial aspects of the technology implementation substantiate their financial needs in negotiation with potential sponsors and compete for potential students has been proposed. This model helps calculate a 
the maximum percentage of the student expected to succeed in studying each course under the fixed budget and B, the minimal budget to secure achievable desirable percentages of the students expected to succeed in studying courses under this technology. My name is Daniel Tkachov. I am a research assistant. I have worked at this center since 2020. At the first year of my work, I studied the measure of the balancedness of the Reich stack of the Weimar Republic. I have constructed models describing all possible coalitions in the Reich stack and evaluated the measure of the balancedness, which shows the degree of proximity to the total balanced parliament. The results of this work have been published at the Large Scale Systems Control Journal. At the second year, I studied power indexes taking into account agents' preferences to coalesce. I have considered linear functions of intensity connections and introduced an axiomatization for them. The results of this work were, have, have been published as preprint of the working paper series, Mathematical Methods or Decision-Making in Economics, Business and Politics. Now, my research field is network analysis. In our team, we have created new models for identifying vulnerable countries to uh, food consumption deficit in uh, food networks using classical and new centrality indexes. The results of this work were published in Procedure Computer Science. Results of the research were also presented at the two international conferences, ITQM and MaxPro. At the end, I would like to say that my, bring, my work brings me great pleasure. I spend a lot of effort on it, but I get a lot more enjoyment. I'm happy to work with and learn from great professionals in our team. My name is Alexander Karpov. I am Senior Research Fellow at International Center of Decision Choice and Analysis. My major research field is structured preferences. It is a field between economics and computer science. Nowadays, computational environment help us to solve many uh, problems concerning aggregation of preferences. For example, recommender system, matching markers, etc. In many cases, unrestricted domain and preferences leads to computationally hard solution, and we cannot apply them quickly in online environment. So we need some information from structure of preferences. And if preferences share common structure or we have some interconnection between preferences, we can apply this uh, information to solve preference aggregation problems. And the simplest example is single peak preferences. So we have an axis, so we have a space of left and right policies. We have a space, marketing space, so we have a brand which is close to Apple, brand which is close to Samsung, whatever. And all agents have ideal points on this axis and all alternatives also belong to this axis. And all agents want to have as close as possible alternatives on this axis. So having this very simple uh, structure of alternative space, we can design efficient algorithms, we can solve many real life problems. Thank you. I'm Stopochkin Anna and I'm research assistant. Our work is about network analysis on studies of Parkinson's disease. Millions of patients are suffering from Parkinson's disease, and this number is constantly growing. More than 5,000 papers are published annually on different aspects of the disease, so it's necessary to take into account major trends. More, due to the large amount of data, it's necessary to use well-developed computational techniques. In our work, we apply network and citation analysis to evaluate the impact of certain papers, journals, authors, and their affiliations. We have collected and pre-processed information about more than 70,000 papers from almost 5,000 journals. 
and have computed several classical centrality indices as well as new ones introduced by Alskerov and Yakuba in 2020. Those indices can take into account different parameters of the nodes. I am Ksenia Zinoviova. I am as well research assistant in the lab. Uh, so the main goal of our work is to develop a holistic uh, methodology for analyzing a particular scientific field. It means that using our approach, we will be able to um, analyze every area of science in different aspects. Uh, first aspect is uh, citation analysis. Uh, we analyze the pattern of how publications, organizations, authors, and journals cite each other. And the second aspect is the semantic similarity of the publications. Um, our area of work is the citation analysis. So comparing to existing methods, our approach allows us to take into account more sophisticated and more complex parameters of the network, of the citation network, uh, not only the number of citations. And what our what is the outcome of our research to the scientific uh, society? It could be helpful to understand the main tendencies and maybe even more helpful to understand and to extract the hidden groups of uh, publications of journals and authors which intensively grow and cite each other very much. Uh, so it may be used, for example, for identifying an um, area or for profitable investment. And also it can be used to evaluate the impact of different journals and uh, authors to the society. Hello, uh, my name is Alexei Mechon. I'm an associate professor in the uh, Department of Mathematics in National Research University, Higher School of Economics, and a senior uh, research fellow in the International Center of Decision Choice and Analysis. I teach uh, various disciplines related to mathematics and methods of decision making. Uh, my research focuses on data analysis, uh, specifically pattern analysis. My students do different researches in, um, of course, practical using practical application of pattern analysis, uh, some methods of uh, machine learning, including clustering, classification, text mining, sentiment analysis. Thank you for your attention. Um, uh, hello, my name is Kobitz Dmitry. I'm a stagiaire assistant in uh, uh, International Center of Decision uh, Choice and Analysis, uh, and uh, I am a master's student uh, in public administration uh, in High School of Economics. Uh, I modeling uh, transport infrastructure in uh, Kamchatka region and uh, modeling uh, different uh, scenarios of uh, volcanic hazards in uh, this region. Mm, and I want to understand how we can, uh, what uh, we can do now uh, for future uh, for uh, reduce uh, consequence uh, for this infrastructure, I think. Uh, my name is Sergey Demin, and uh, I am Junior Research Fellow in the International Center of Decision and Choice and Analysis. Uh, in this International Center, uh, we study different uh, directions uh, in the science of decision choice and decision making and decision analysis. And I will describe uh, briefly about several uh, directions uh, wherein I'm working. Uh, the first one uh, is a group of projects uh, where uh, we carried out uh, new models of uh, data development analysis. Uh, it is modern technology for efficiency evaluation of uh, similar objects. And we have uh, carried out several uh, new methods in this 
uh, topic. And uh, afterwards, we applied our new models uh, for different cases. And here are some of them. At first, uh, we evaluated uh, the efficiency of firefighting preventive measures in different uh, regions of Russian Federation, because we understand uh, that, unfortunately, uh, forest uh, fire fires uh, is certain problem for the Russian Federation, and each summer uh, there are huge territories under fire, uh, especially in some uh, Siberian regions, and so on. And so uh, we tried to evaluate and rank different regions according to uh, efficiency of their fire firefighting strategy uh, inside the region. Uh, the second case, uh, we again applied our new modern uh, methods of data development analysis for the efficiency evaluation of uh, anti-coronavirus quarantine measures in different countries. Uh, we studied uh, big countries with a uh, population over 10 million people. And uh, we have constructed uh, some time series of efficiency evaluation for these countries. And afterwards, uh, we uh, divided all uh, the countries into several groups with similar uh, behavior of efficiency evaluation inside them. And one more interesting topic is uh, so-called simulation processes. Uh, we constructed uh, different uh, iterational uh, models, which helps us to simulate uh, some dynamic processes. And here is the example of uh, simulation of oil spills in the Arctic region. Uh, using these models, we take into account uh, many factors which uh, influence the spill and uh, the spread of this oil spill. And as a result, we uh, can in just in a few seconds uh, simulate the future process of potential oil spill uh, in some specific uh, circumstances uh, like Arctic region uh, ecosystem. My name is Anna Semina, and I'm a research assistant in the International Center of Decision Choice and Analysis. Basically, my job is to do some science. For example, together, together with my colleague and my friend Anastasia Kazachinska, we have conducted a study about international business journals from the Scopus database. This study was presented at the ITQM conference and published in Presidia Computer Science. So we have performed a bibliometric analysis of almost one and a half thousand journals related to the area of business management and accounting. Our main goal was to see if Scopus metrics, side score, SNP, and SGR are good at evaluating journals and if they have dependencies with other parameters. We have downloaded data from the Scopus database, processed it, and made some ratings. Finally, we have figured out that none of the metrics that I mentioned before have correlations with either number of citations or number of documents, which is a good sign. It means that these metrics are pretty weighted. However, citations and documents have pretty strong dependencies between themselves. Also, another part of our work was to analyze publishers and subcategories of the journals. Now, uh, you listen all uh, almost all of our colleagues uh, and their activities about their activities in different fields of decision analysis. And so I would like to repeat that we will be very glad to have some joint work, some cooperation from, uh, with the colleagues from different universities in a very different form. For instance, uh, we can give lectures for colleagues we can uh, invite young colleagues to our PhD and master programs. Uh, this might be joint seminars. Uh, we have two seminars, uh, all Russian seminars on decision analysis, and we will be very glad to invite colleagues to present their papers on our seminars. And there might be other 
wish for our scientific cooperation. Thank you.